Hey everybody, what's up? Um, yesterday I was on here live and I shared with you my very first decluttering aha moment that like really how I just even first considered the idea of decluttering. If you haven't seen that yet, you can scroll back on my page, um, go back to my page and, um, and pull up the video that's called my very first decluttering aha moment. But what I want to talk to you about today is the one of the worst, one of the earliest first mistakes that I made decluttering. Okay, and it wasn't like the probably the very first one, but this is the one that stands out to me the most and that I really, really regret. Um, you know, and now looking back, it's been, you know, over a decade, it's not a huge deal, but it was at the time and I really wish I hadn't done it. And so I want to tell you this story so that you can avoid things like that as well. Okay, so um, again, I went on a trip, went on a road trip with my uh, one of my kids and went to visit my sister who is a minimalist and came back super inspired to declutter. And I was like, oh my gosh, now I got it. Now I know what, what I've been doing wrong all the time. I was so busy trying to get organized um, and that is not what I need to do, right? I need to get rid of stuff, right? I need to let things go. And so that's what I started doing, right? And I started looking like just literally walking around the house and looking for things that could go. What can we get rid of here? What are we not using? What is like really not in very good shape? You guys do that. You hang on to stuff because you think you can use it, which is perfectly valid. But the stuff that you hang on to is not really that good. It's not really that nice. Um, and you just haven't looked at it in a while. You haven't noticed. And when you start taking a look, you think, oh, that can go and that can go and that can go. So I was just literally kind of combing through the house and looking for things to let go of. And we had this bookshelf. We are book people. We're still book people. <laughs> and um, so we had this bookshelf and had all these books on it, right? And so I pulled out, you know, a stack of books and I kind of sorted through it. And I was like, okay, this one, yes. This one, yes. This one, no. This one, no. And um, in the no pile, I put this little cookbook that we had, okay? And it was... Um, it was, I have no idea where it came from. I really don't. But it was a book of German recipes, okay? And I'm starting to get like a little anxious telling you this story because it was, this was, this was painful. But anyways, um, it's a book of German recipes. And I was like, well, we haven't opened this book in 10 years. This can go, okay? And so I put it in the thrift store pile. And I did not think... Or maybe it went to the library. It probably went to the library, right? You can take books to the library book sale. I did not think about it. Again, I was just like, it's gone. <laughs> Until a few months later, uh, I was married at the time. I am not anymore, but I was married at the time. And my husband said to me, where's that cookbook? And I was like, what do you mean? Where's the cookbook? Uh, and he's like, you know, the cookbook with the German recipes. I want to make something out of it. Because my husband, my ex-husband is from Germany. Um, born and raised in Germany and he's like I want to make that thing my mother makes and I was like um, I decluttered it it's gone and he was like what are you kidding me like what are, are you insane that he was so unhappy with me and I had to just be like I'm so sorry I I didn't know um, and it was it was just very unfortunate and you know, I mean, he got over it, you know, he wasn't happy, but the, what are you going to do at that point? But I really learned, uh, I learned a couple things, okay? I learned that, first of all, the people in my house were not as enthusiastic about this idea as I was. He didn't go on the trip with me. He didn't have the aha moment, and he was like, yeah, you do your thing, but I'm not getting rid of my stuff. He was like, I don't have as much stuff as you do. And so he was not in the same place that I was, right? So um, it makes perfect sense. Now, the next thing I learned was like, don't get rid of stuff that belongs to other people without thinking through it carefully, All right? So I am not saying that you never get rid of things that belong to other people in your house. Um, this is absolutely valid, but just do it on purpose and do it knowing that you make make that person unhappy, okay? We call this staying in your own lane in my community. Um, staying in your own lane means you, you focus on your stuff and let everybody else worry about their stuff, right? That's staying in your own lane. Now, there are times when you will choose to say, you know what, this thing here that is not my thing, but it's your thing, 
I am choosing that this needs to go and here's why. And there's lots of reasons you might do that, right? But just do it on purpose and do it knowing that the other person might not agree and might be very unhappy with you. And maybe you want to have a discussion or maybe you don't. But um, don't just be like, I'm doing everybody a favor here <laughs> because um, they might not see it that way. <laughs> Newsflash, right? Oh my gosh. It was, it was very painful. Um, it was probably more painful for him, for me than it was for him. Uh, but he was like, what are you talking about? Like that was important to me. And I just didn't even think to ask. So, um, this, this was a really, really good lesson for me. And I just kind of thought a little bit more carefully. Um, you know, if you are all excited about decluttering, um, it is very likely that the other people in your house are not at that same point that you are. And maybe they will get there and that is the best. But if they don't, or if they're not there yet, then just remember that when you're making your decisions. Now I had so much that I could go through. I did not need to start going through other people's things. Um, I could make a tremendous impact only focusing on my own stuff and then the stuff that I was keeping for the kids, which they did not care about at all. My kids do not hang on to things. Um, so I had more than enough to keep me busy for quite a while. Um, so that was a really, really painful lesson. And um, I made that mistake. So now you don't have to make that mistake. Or at least if you want to do that, you can do it on purpose. And then it's not a mistake. Then it is something that you are doing on purpose, right? There are reasons that we wouldn't want to do that. Um, but I didn't have any of those reasons when I, when I did that. So I just want to share that with you to let you know that um, you're going to make mistakes when you declutter. I promise you, you know, and the other thing is when you make mistakes, don't make that mean that you should stop, right? What if I had been like, oh my gosh, I'm never getting rid of anything again, right? We wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be talking to you, right? So that mistake and all the other ones that I made along the way, I did not let that stop me. I was like, okay, and now I know, now I know this, now I know this, now I know how to, now I know all these reasons and all these things not to do. <laughs> Um, as I'm doing this work, right? This is the only way that we find out what not to do. It's by trying a whole bunch of stuff and then going, okay, that worked, that worked, that worked, and those other things didn't. And so I'm gonna do these things, right? Making a mistake does not mean that you're doing it wrong. Making a mistake does not mean that you should stop. It just means, okay, we, let, we learned something here. This is useful. This is information, and we can use that to move forward, all right? So, uh, let me know, have you all made any decluttering mistakes? I would love to hear if you have any stories like that. Um, leave me a comment below, all right? And I'll see you all, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.